Hi, it's Steve. Today we're going to show you how to change the drain hose on your dishwasher. That's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver, a pair of slip joint pliers, and a pair of water pump pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to remove the dishwasher from the cabinet. So the first thing we'll need to do is locate the breaker or fuse panel and turn off the power to the dishwasher. And then we're going to remove this lower access panel and it's held in place with two quarter inch hex head screws. Once we've removed that, we can then disconnect the inlet water supply and we'll also remove the screws that secure the top of the dishwasher to the bottom of your cabinets and then we can pull them out. Now we've shown a view from the bottom here. We've already disconnected the drain hose extension. We're going to remove that clamp so that we can reuse it. We're also going to remove the hose from the pump. And again, we'll have to depress that clamp using our pliers. And there will be some water in this hose, so make sure we have something to collect that. Slide it off the pump. And again, we're going to reuse that clamp. So pull it completely off the hose. Now next, we'll have to stand that dishwasher back up and we'll remove the rest of the hose from the holder on the side of the tub. Now with the dishwasher in an upright position, we'll next remove the lower rack. Just set that aside. What we need to do is remove this knot that secures the inlet to the tub. So using a pair of slip joint pliers, just loosen that gently. Unthread the nut, and we can close that back up again. Now on the side of the tub, we're going to remove that inlet assembly, and just pull it away from the tub, and also unsecure the drain hose from that clip above. Snap the hose away from that inlet assembly, and then we can pull the remainder of the hose out through the openings. We'll take our new hose and just fit those ends down through the openings. to clip that cutaway portion of the drain hose into the inlet assembly. Make sure that the gasket is intact. Pull it up into position. Snap the top portion of that drain hose into the clip on the tub. And then taking care that we don't dislodge that gasket, we'll push that inlet assembly into position. Then we're going to open that door and reinstall the nut on it. So just push that inlet assembly through that opening. And we'll take the retaining nut, carefully thread that on, and then just snug it up with the pliers. And then we can reinstall the lower rack. Now with the dishwasher laying on its side again, we'll reconnect the outlet of the pump to the new hose. We'll take our clamp and slide that on the hose first. And carefully position that hose on the pump. Pull the clamp 
up into position. Then we'll also install the clamp on the outlet end of the hose in preparation to connect the extension drain hose to that. Now if there's room to do that with it out of the cabinets, we'll connect it there. Otherwise we'll have to wait until we've pushed it back part way into position and then we'll connect it to that extension. Now that we've connected the utilities back up, before we put the access panel on the dishwasher, we're going to run a short cycle just to make sure that we don't have any leaks. Once we've verified that we have no water leaks, we can go ahead and put the access panel back in position. Now that we have the access panel back in position and it's secured to the cabinets, our repair is complete.